the research that I'd conducted as a graduate student and then as a postdoctoral fellow um, is the, the one that's been sort of most publicized, um, looking at women's sexual response in the laboratory and um, responsiveness to male and female sexual stimuli. And sort of the really surprising thing is that uh, we, what we'd initially found is that women, regardless of whether they're same or opposite sex attracted, were showing significant genital responses to both male and female sexual stimuli. That was sort of the initial study that I did as a part of my doctoral thesis. And then I did a postdoctoral study which suggested that um, women who were same-sex attracted sort of rarefy the stimuli. Previously, we were using films of couples, and, and there's so much going on in that. We stripped it down to just solitary women and men. And in using these films of solitary women and men, demonstrated that women who identified as lesbian, who were same-sex attracted, were actually starting to differentiate in their arousal patterns. So they were becoming a little bit more aroused to, to the women than to, to the men. Um, but the, the straight women were not differentiating by gender. And so we, we've taken this a little bit further, and so um, I, two years ago, started an assistant professor position at Queen's University in, in Kingston, and have done a study with primarily bisexually attracted uh, women, and rolled them into this sort of data analysis, this ongoing study of trying to figure out what's going on. You know, this, this pattern of arousal just doesn't fit with, again, as I said, sort of this male model of how things are supposed to work. If you're turned on by these people, if you're choosing to have sex with these people, well, you should become only sexually aroused by those people, so, you know, why both? And as we've rolled this data together, um, I've looked at um, these patterns of arousal to, to women and to men in women who report no sexual attraction to women at all, so exclusively heterosexual women, and then to women with varying degrees of, of same-sex attraction. And so in, um, in, in this research, we use, commonly use uh, Kinsey scales to sort of have people quantify the, the degree of their same and opposite sex attraction. So a Kinsey zero is a person who's exclusively heterosexual. A Kinsey one is an individual who says, I'm predominantly heterosexual, but I definitely have some same sex feelings, and so on. It goes up to, to sixes. And what, we've, what I found is that the, the, the people who are the big puzzle are the heterosexual women. Um, and uh, all of the other, the, 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 the women with some degrees of same-sex attraction, what's really fascinating is uh, sort of as you go up that Kinsey scale from, you know, just a little bit same-sex attracted to exclusively same-sex attracted, this uh, arousal to women becomes more and more and more differentiated from that of men. But the women who do not differentiate at all are the heterosexual, the exclusively heterosexual women.